Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1436. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file, either the start file or finish file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got to see a great trick in Excel 2016. We need to combine two big tables into one for a pivot table report. Now, here's our problem. If I click on the top cell Control down arrow, well, that's 900,000 rows. Control down arrow, and this is almost a million rows. Now, I have two tables side by side, but I really want to combine them or append first table and then join this to the bottom into a single table. Then I need to make a simple pivot table report, just product totals. Now, we can't simply copy and paste because it just won't fit on an Excel sheet. But we have Excel 2016. So on the Data Ribbon tab in the Get and Transform, we can use the Table button to import both of these into the Power Query Editor and then Get Data, Combine, and Append feature. But where are we going to put it? We can't put it in the sheet. We'll put it into the data model. Now, I happen to have Power Pivot, which is the right version to go look at the data model. But every single version of Excel 2016 has that data model. And the data model contains a behind the scenes columnar database, which can hold big data. Now, this is about 2 million records. The columnar database will have no problem with that. In fact, it can hold up to 100 million rows. All right, let's see how to do this. Both of these have already been converted to Excel tables by clicking in a single cell Insert Table or using Control-T. Also, we went to Design and named each table, FSales2, FSales1. Now we can click in a single cell Data from Table or Range. That adds it to the editor. We can check to see if the data types are correct. I'm going to click this icon to change the data type to simply date. This message is saying, hey, do you want to replace the step we already created? Yes, I do. Text is fine. Decimal is fine. Now I come up and close and load. Don't click the button. Close and load drop down. Close and load 2. Now in our Import Data dialog box, we want to check only this button. Only create a connection. It will load it into the editor. I click OK. I can see there's a connection only here. Click in Second Table, From Table, Icon for Data Type, change it to Date. Replace. The data types are fine. Close and load, close and load to. Only create a connection, click OK. We had to load them both up into the Query pane over here so we can come up to Data, Combine Queries, and Append. And notice the icon, Field Names Table, and then we're going to join another table to the bottom. So Append. Two tables, guess what? You could do this with three or more. I'm going to start with F Sales 1, F Sales 2. Now, it doesn't matter which order. And in fact, we have exactly the same field names and data in each column in each table. So this will work just fine. Click OK. Now, I'm going to name this something, whatever you want. I named it All Together Table. Only one step, there's our table. Now I can close and load, close and load 2. This is actually the third query, and we're going to say only create a connection and add this to the data model. Now, when we check this, you can't go look at the data if you don't have the correct version with Power Pivot. But no problem. It's totally there, and we can access it using the Create Pivot Table dialog box. I'm going to click OK. We can see over here it's loading the data. It's actually loading, and then it's going to create in the columnar database a very efficient database that stores a unique list for each one of these columns. And since the date only spans two years, if we have all of the days, that would be 730. So 700 records here. We only have like 20 products. 
And this column has a bunch of sales, but each one of these will be stored as a unique list. And so it's very efficient. And the file size we get will be smaller than the original data stored in the Excel sheet. And there we go, about 1.9 million records. Now, I would save this. So we have the original data, because now I'm going to delete these tables. Click in the top cell, Control Asterisk on the number pad. And I'm going to use the keyboard for, over here, Clear All, Alt EAA. Come over here, Control Asterisk, Alt EAA. That clears everything, the formatting, the table, the data, and so on. Now I'm going to click over here. And before we create our pivot table, now I'm going to save. And if we go look, here was the original file, so 41 megabytes. And by loading it into the columnar database, it went down to 9 megabytes. Now we can create our pivot table, insert, pivot table, or we can use the keyboard Alt-N-V. And look at that. It's polite. It assumes, since we have data in the data model, that we want to use that. If it didn't, then you would select that. Existing sheet is fine. Click OK. There's our all together data. I can simply drag product down to rows, sales over to values, right click, number formatting, currency, click OK. Now, if we actually had the data model, we wouldn't drag sales down here. We'd go create a measure over in the data model. But look at what we did. We took those two huge tables. We didn't know what to do because we wanted to make a pivot table. We used Power Query to append, put it in the data model. Open up a pivot table, connect to that data model, and there's our pivot table. All right, that's a little fun with two big tables for a pivot table. We'll see you next video.